Thanks for tuning in today to Fellowship with the Doorman. I am your host, Evangelist Ed Henry Jr. It's only what's done for Christ will last. All of your worldly gains will soon, soon be past. Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sin, for my sin. We have to impress God, and the only way that we impress God is, is by asking Jesus Christ, His Son, His Son, to come in to our hearts and speak to the audience out there. You know, they are all door men and door women. Thanks for tuning in today to Fellowship with the Door Man. I am your host, Evangelist Ed. Henry Jr. And man, I'm excited as you hear me say all the time, I'm always excited for the privilege that God gives me. I thank you for tuning in to Bell Global Network, Channel 20, and Facebook Live. What a privilege that God gives us. What a privilege God gives you and me. Let's go to the throne with the word of prayer. Father God, in the name of your loving Son and our Savior, Jesus Christ, I thank you, Father, once again, once again, Father, for the privilege, God, to spread your word, to preach your word, God, to teach your word, Father, to my fellow man, God, and especially to myself. We praise you, Father. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we're going to go to the Matthew, the 17th chapter. You out there, grab your Bibles if you can. Let's go to the 17th chapter of Matthews, where Jesus is predicting his own death. Jesus and his disciples, they're walking. He's predicting his own death. Reading at Matthew, the 17th chapter, 21st verse, it reads, From that time forth began Jesus to show unto his disciples how that he must go into Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. Hallelujah. Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him. Can you imagine rebuking Jesus, <laughs> saying, Be it far from thee, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. So let me break that down, what, what, what the Word of God is saying. From then on, from that moment on, as they were walking, as they were walking together casually, you know, because wasn't no big thing with Jesus, because Jesus know and he knew what his job was to come on this land. He came to die for you and I. Jesus came on this land to die for us. So he knew what his mission was. But Peter didn't know what his mission was. See, that's the thing. Peter did not know. So from then on, Jesus began to tell his disciples plainly that he had to go to Jerusalem. He said, I have to go to Jerusalem. What was he going to Jerusalem for? And he told them that what would happen to him there, he would suffer at the hands of the leaders and the leading priests and scribes and teachers of religious law. He would be killed and he would be raised on the third day. Jesus knew what his mission was. And to think that Jesus loved us so much that he, he died for us. God so loved the world, John 3, 16, that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him would not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus knew what his mission was, to die for you and I. But Peter took him aside and corrected him, saying, Heaven forbid, Lord, he said, this will never happen to you. Well, we know who Peter was. 
if if you read anything in the, in your Bible, you know who Peter was. He was the one with the mouth. So Peter pulled Jesus to the side and called himself rebuking Jesus. Amen. But Peter took him aside and corrected him. And he said, heaven forbid, Lord, this will never happen to you. What? Can you imagine rebuking Jesus? Whoa. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, if any man or woman will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. If any man or any woman will come after me, he says, let him take up his cross and follow me. Let him deny himself. Amen. We're here for a purpose on this land. And that purpose is to deny yourself. Deny yourself. That's hard to do. You can't do it on your own. But if you know Jesus Christ, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Word says, and there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. So, your Holy Ghost is your power. Amen. God supplies all of our needs. Jesus died for us. But we can do anything through Christ who strengthens us. But you got to deny yourself. You know those plans that you have for your life? But it's not your life. That life that you're living was loaned to you. Okay, listen to me close now. That life that you have was loaned to you to make a difference. God loaned you your life. It's not your life. We have to give account of the life that God has given us. Amen? Well, think about this. Think about this, my brothers and sisters. Think about this, our children that God has given us. Those children don't belong to us. We don't even belong to ourselves. Amen? Listen now. Those children, when we send them to school, you know, we get up and we sacrifice and we give them money to go to school. We take them to school. We buy them clothing. We buy the books. Whatever is needed for them to succeed. Amen? God supplies all of our needs. He gives us what we need to succeed. So at the, at the end of the report card, at the end of the semester, Listen now, at the end of that semester, we're looking for our children to come home with a good report card. Amen? I know you could understand this. Amen? We're looking for our children to come home with a good report card. Amen? God is the same way. God is looking for us to check it in, to deny yourself. Deny yourself. I'm breaking it down to you now. Deny yourself what you want to do, just like we tell our children. When you go in, in there and your teacher's teaching, you listen to what she's saying. Listen to what she's saying. Deny yourself because I want you to get a good report card. That's simple. If any man will come after Jesus, he wants you to deny yourself. And if you want to see God laugh, Tell him about your foolish plans. Amen. Your foolish plans. We don't have the right. Amen. We don't have the right to say what we want to do. And that's hard to do. You can't do it on your own. I couldn't do it on my own. But because I was out there. You've heard me talk about this. I was striving to be a, a superstar. A superstar. God gave me the gift to write songs. And to sing. Uh, and I thought that was for me. But God gave me that. To do his will. And that Saturday night. When I got saved. You, you might have heard me, me mention. I pulled to the side of the street. I asked Jesus Christ to come into my life. And it was over for the things that I wanted to do. Amen. I was on the way to hell. And enjoying the trip. Amen. Just like some of you. Just like some of you. Amen. 
But I prayed that night. I asked Jesus Christ to come into my life and take over my life. I'm breaking it down to you now. To take over my life. And I didn't even know what I was saying. But I knew this was what I was supposed to do because I had made a mess of it for so many years. I made a big mess of, of it. Amen? I made a big mess of my life. I thought that I knew what I wanted to do, but I realized that it was not about me. Jesus came into my life, and I had to understand as I read my Bible, and God tells us to study Study to show yourself approved, a workman that needed not be ashamed, but rightly, rightly di dividing the word of truth. Jesus came into my life that night, and I put aside my ambitions, my foolish ambitions, what I wanted to do. I had to deny myself, my brothers and sisters, Fall on your knees if you don't know Jesus Christ. Those silly ambitions that you have, they'll take you straight to hell. I was on the way to hell myself, and I was enjoying the trip. Amen? Did you, did you hear me? I was on the way to hell and enjoying the trip. But, but God, but God sent his son to me that Saturday night. I'll never forget it. It seems like it was just last night. Amen? But Jesus Christ came into my life, and that made the difference in, in my life. Uh, most of the people that I was out there with in the music that have gone on, they didn't heed that calling. And I'm pretty sure that God called them. God's word said that he would not help any of us to be lost. Amen? He would not help any of us to be lost. What does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul. What does it profit a man? Amen. What does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? And I've known so many of uh, people, entertainers, because that's what I was. I was trying to make a name, seeking worldly fame. I trying to make a name, seeking worldly fame. But God sent his only begotten son that Saturday night and I heard that calling, and I knew that it was time to deny myself, to deny myself, my foolish ambitions. I didn't have the right. I did not have the right. You don't have the right to do what you want to do and get out of this land as God would have you because you either going to heaven or you going to hell. My brothers and sisters, if you don't know Jesus Christ, fall down on your knees and ask him at this moment. Today is the time. Today is the time of salvation. Not tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Today is the time of salvation. I'm pleading to you. God sent me here to tell you this. Today is the day of salvation. Deny yourself. Deny yourself. And fall on your knees and ask Jesus Christ to come into your life. What does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? What does it profit you? It's not worth it, my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. It's not worth it. For whosoever shall save his life shall lose it. And if any man will come unto me, let him deny himself. Amen. He says, for whosoever, whoever, that's you. That's you. I thank you so much for tuning in today to Fellowship with the Door, man. Uh, it's a joy. I urge you to please continue to support Fellowship with the Door, man, with, you, with your offerings and uh, with your prayers. Call anytime. We're always here. Uh, my mailing address is 6689 Orchard Lake Road, number 293, West Bloomfield, Michigan. I'll say that again. 6689 Orchard Lake Road, number 293, West Bloomfield, Michigan, number 293-48322. 48322. Phone number is 313 477 
Uh, if you want to come on fellowship with the door, man, give me a call and we'll arrange it. We'll hook it up. Amen. Uh, you ministers out there, if you want to come on, come on so you can tell your story. God has blessed me to tell my story. God has blessed me with this platform. Uh, I'm not a pastor. I'm an evangelist. But this is my church right here as I speak God's word. So I have the privilege to come to you. As I go throughout the land and preach his word, God blesses me to go throughout the land. I've been to Israel, to the Caribbean, Florida, Ohio, Mississippi, West Virginia. God bless me to go all over to preach his word, and I'm so excited. I thank God for that privilege, but first thing I had to do was to deny myself. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Jesus, that's the word of Jesus Christ. He said, if any man or woman will come after him, let him deny himself. And then, then he says that if you want to keep your life, it's up to you. But you got to give your life to him. That's what God wants you to do, is to give your life to him. Uh, God, is, God is a gentleman. He won't force himself upon you. He won't make you do anything. He will not make you do anything. You have a chance. You have a chance, my brothers and sisters, if you don't know him. What do you say? Today, today is the day of salvation, not tomorrow. I urge you, if you don't know Jesus Christ, all you brothers and sisters out there on, on the brink of thinking maybe this or maybe that, there's only one thing to think, that today is is the day of salvation. That night when I got saved, when I was, I was in the streets of Detroit, I was headed to the club once again to let the good times roll. Man, I, man, I had on my suit, and I had on this and that, and I, I'm thinking I'm cool. I done, shucks, I'd smoked a couple of joints or so and had a drink. I was headed to the club, but I heard that calling that, that small calling within my heart, I knew that it was time. I pulled to the side of the street and I asked Jesus Christ to come into my life. I prayed and then I made that outward confession. I tell the world, as I'm telling you now, that Jesus came into my life that Saturday night. I tell the world that you better fear God, my brothers and sisters, you better fear God. Amen. I fear God myself. I fear God and I praise God. I thank God. And I thank God for giving his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for my sins and the sins of the world. God's words say, many are called. Many are called, but few are chosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. Do you want to be one of the chosen? Amen? Do you want to be one of the chosen? All you got to do is humble your heart and pray within yourself. Ask Jesus Christ to come into your life. He will. At this moment, you don't have to run all the way down to the corner, then circle the block and circle the block again and end up back home in, in that round circle. Just wherever you at, whatever you're doing, wherever you at, whatever you're doing, humble your heart and pray. Ask Jesus Christ to come into your life. It's just that simple. Just that simple. You don't have to do no uh, push-ups. Uh, 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 you don't have to jump through no hoops. Humble your heart. It's right here. Right here. God wants you. God wants you. Like you've seen that sign they're talking about Uncle Sam. They said, Uncle Sam wants you. Well, God wants you to humble your heart and ask his son, Jesus Christ, to come into your heart so that you can make a difference. This is your job. I wouldn't be caught not trying to make a difference. Amen? You shouldn't want to be caught unless you're trying to make a difference. God, I thank you, Father, for the privilege this day, this day to preach your word. 
I urge you, my brothers and sisters, if you don't know Jesus Christ, today, today is the day. Not to, not tomorrow. God's telling us you got to deny yourself and put away those foolish things that you want to do. Amen. If you love God, call him. Amen. If you want him, if you want him, call him. Amen. How can you say you love him? Amen. How can you say that you love him if you're not in contact with him? Some people say, well, I know him. I love him. Okay. Do you keep in contact with him? It's the same as with our own children, with our biological children. If they tell us, Dad, I love you, Dad, but they never come to see me. They never call me. Amen. What kind of love is that? Amen. What kind of love is that that you have for our creator who created you? Amen. That created you and gave his only begotten son. Then he gave you the Holy Ghost. That's your power. That's your power. Hey, I can do anything through Christ who strengthens me. If it's, if it's his will. All I have to do is ask him. I can do anything through Christ who strengthens me. If it's God's will. You can do anything through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. Call him right now. Today is the day. Today is the day. God's word says many are called, but few are chosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. He doesn't want anybody to be lost. All you got to do is deny yourself. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how much money you have in your bank account or you got in your pocket because it's not that serious. Amen? Because you cannot take it with you regardless of what you got. Amen? Regardless of where you live. Regardless of what you drive. God wants us to have the best. Amen? He wants us to have the best house. Amen? The best car. The best time. He wants us to have the best. Amen. But he does not want the best to have us. Amen. Whatever he gives us. He wants us to use that to glorify him. Amen. Thanks once again for tuning in to Fellowship with the Doorman. I am your host Evangelist Ed Henry Jr. I'm going to do my, my song that has taken me across many parts of the world. The Doorman. These songs that I do, you can go to CD Baby and order them if you want to. And uh, you can get in touch me, with me for invitations to come, to preach, to sing, uh, the privilege to glorify God. Amen. I am an evangelist. I'm not a pastor. So that means I go and I thank God. God I'm in the office that I'm supposed to be in. I'm an evangelist, not a pastor. Amen. So I'm going to do the, the doorman for you right now. And as I said, you can order these songs on, on CD Baby and all of the other networks that you want to. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father, for the I'm going to push this here to the side for a minute. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your grace and your mercy. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah.
do you love Jesus? Do you love Jesus? If you do, let's thank him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. that time. Tell him again like you really love. Raise your hand. Come on now. Fellowship with the Door, man. I am your host, Evangelist Ed Henry Jr., and I thank you so much for uh, coming to us on Bell Global Network and Facebook Live. I love you. I thank you. Give God the glory. Deny yourself. Deny yourself. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God, for this privilege. God, for your grace and your mercy. In Jesus' name. Amen. Open the gate on the first day of heaven. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, I want to be the doorman. Open the gate on the first day of heaven. Everybody, this is your girl Vicky Winans, and you're watching Bell Global Network. My name is Mike Duggan, and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy D Hattie watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. Hi, I'm Charlie Langton, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves, and you're watching Bell Global Network. Hi, everybody. I'm telling you, everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. I'm Evelyn Turrentine, AG, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Pastor D. Alexander Bullock of Preachers of Detroit, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Bishop Edgar Van of Second Ebenezer Church in Detroit, Michigan, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, I'm Bernadette Stannis. You know me best as Thelma from the TV show Good Times, and you are watching Bell Global Network.